I am Dr. Veronique Desaunier, better known as Dr. V, founder of BreastCancerConqueror.com and The Seven Essential System. I discovered I had breast cancer in 2004 and then again in 2009. The path I chose to diagnose and also treat breast cancer was a very unconventional one. When I first discovered I had breast cancer in 2004, I'd been in practice for about 24 years and I was a real wellness warrior. So discovering that lump in my breast was a real blow to me professionally and personally. I thought I was doing everything right. I ate organic before organic was in style. I had home births, I breastfed my children, I exercised, I was under chiropractic care. You name it, I was doing it. So how could somebody like me develop breast cancer? I understood that cancer was only the symptom and not cause. So I began to search the root causes of this disease in my body. I created a checklist for myself to make sure I covered all aspects of healing. After a successful first healing journey, I began sharing my knowledge with other women and one thing led to another and then I became known as the breast cancer conqueror. So fast forward nine years to 2015, I was burning the candle at both ends. I was feeling the stress and anxiety of supporting many women who had breast cancer, but something didn't feel right. I found another lump in my left breast, had some blood work done, and sure enough, breast cancer came knocking on my door for a second time. I knew I had to change my lifestyle once again and dive deeper into my seven essential system. I began attending several medical conferences about cancer to really expand my knowledge and understand more about this disease. And then I heard Dr. Thomas Thiefried and his research about cancer as a metabolic disease. That was a true light bulb moment for me. I began reading books about the metabolic approach to cancer and even had the fortune and the privilege of being coached by Dr. Nasha Winters who wrote this amazing book, The Metabolic Approach to Cancer. Now I understood why all the juicing I was doing was not supporting my healing. I'd become insulin resistant and metabolically inflexible. My sugar was spiking with all the juices I was drinking. So I began monitoring my blood sugar on a daily basis and dove into the ketogenic diet hardcore. It wasn't an easy transition, but as I learned to lower my carbs and increase my healthy fats, I noticed that when I was in a mild state of ketosis, I felt really good. I also added intermittent fasting, which really helped keep my insulin and blood sugar in low range. My path for healing was based totally on evidence-based natural medicine. I addressed each of the seven essentials with more research and more fine tuning. So here are a few of the highlights of each of the steps that I took with each of the essentials. So essential number one is let food be your medicine, which I've already touched on. Uh, essential number two is to reduce your toxic exposure and to detox your body. So I really dove into that. I incorporated daily coffee enemas hyperthermia, to get the sweating going, to detox heavy metals, uh, environmental pesticides, herbicides, all of that, and use saunas and the biomat for that. Essential number three is to balance your energy. We are one billionth physical matter, the rest is all energy. And so I made sure that my hormones were balanced, that my thyroid was balanced. I learned to improve my sleep and my exercise had to be improved in balance. I incorporated EWOT, E-W-O-T, exercise with oxygen therapy, which really um, pushes the oxygenation into your body. Essential number four is to heal the emotional wounds. And a big aha for me during the healing journey was to learn to nurture that little girl inside of me to remind her that she was safe and would always be there. And I would always be there to take care of her. I learned to forgive myself and to forgive others. I meditated and created a relaxation response every single day in my body. If we stay in the sympathetic fight or flight mode every single day, we know that that can turn on cancer causing genes and turn off your health promoting genes. So it's very important to get into that relaxation mode every single day. 
Essential number five is to embrace biological dentistry. I worked very closely with a biological dentist to make sure um, to really look at what was going on in my mouth. And interestingly, I discovered I had four cavitations, which were infections in the bone where I had had extractions. I also discovered I had an autoimmune issue, interestingly, on meridian tooth number 14, which happens to be the left breast meridian, which that where that's where the tumor was in the first and second journey. So a lot of uh, learning uh, in essential number five. Essential number six addresses all the therapeutic plants and herbs and supplements that kill cancer cells and boost the immune system. I regularly tested my blood for circulating tumor cells and also tested for the compatibility of specific nutrients that were effective in attacking the unhealthy cells. And lastly, number seven is to really be proactive with your health and to keep a pulse on your health by testing and never guessing when it comes to your health. So I had regular ultrasound screenings, thermography, and blood tests to monitor my progress. So after three years of intense uh, healing, I was officially no longer actively cancering. And that was almost four years ago. I'm happier and healthier than I've ever been. And I continue to monitor my health and live by my seven essential system. Now, the downside of doing all these treatments outside of conventional medicine was the cost. The IVs, the supplements, the blood tests that weren't covered by insurance, the doctor's visits, um, you know, it was costly. I have to, I have to admit that. However, since then, there are more and more insurance companies that are now open to supporting wellness programs like this one. Was there ever a time when there was fear? Absolutely. I was no different than any other woman out there. There were those times when I would wake up in the middle of the night, 3 a.m., the sweat, you know, the monkey brain, thinking about the what if. But I knew in my heart of hearts that my body had an amazing ability to heal if it was given the right resources and if it was treated with love and compassion. I knew that my body had created this cancer, so I knew it had the ability to heal it. I've been in the wellness industry for well over 40 years, and it's so encouraging to see the growth and awareness about natural medicines. I've personally experienced the benefits of the metabolic approach to cancer and have witnessed the benefits in hundreds, if not thousands of clients around the world.